if they were clean, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here at the age of 50 telling some 90-year-old Negro woman from my country, I'm not your sex toy and your playboy. You elderly women like to play with boys, don't you? You like them young. You love them when they're young and Chippendales and handsome and they take off their clothes and they're showing you their buns. And likewise, you men, right? If it's not the porno store, it's Mary. And if it's not Mary, it's the, uh, whatever rouge, right? You love that fleshy stuff. Flesh, 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 flesh. You love that, huh? It just turns you on. Ah! 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 He's a dollar! Ah! Unfortunately, the church is not called to that. I'm sorry if that's your life, but the church is called to the opposite. And it's very hard to live the opposite if somebody keeps kicking you in your rear and telling you you're my sex boy, sex boy, sex boy, sex boy, play toy, play boy, sex toy. I can't live a holy life if God is calling me to holiness and this is what you're treating me as, as a government. This is what I'm preaching, but this is what you're forcing me to live. Go to 122nd and give it to them on behalf for social security, disability income, huh? You're gonna go to 122nd and, and give them the sex earned, right? This is Dee Franklin still in the 21st century. You're gonna go over there and, and what? Go, go give them sex. Go give my mother sex. Go give the gay community sex. Go give us sex. Go give us sex. You're our playboy. We brought you into the country so you could be our sex toy. Go give them sex, Ernst. Go give them sex. Give them sex, Ernst. Give them sex. That's Guy Franklin. You didn't know that? You didn't know that was Guy Franklin? That was Guy Franklin for 41 years. Go give them sex. Remove them out of the master seminary so you can give them sex. You're this family's playboy. Come here, Gila. Come here, Carell. Come here, Cherise. How many others? How many? Come here, Marjorie. Everybody's gonna use Ernst, right? Use them in the group home. Use them in Los Angeles. Use them in Seattle. No, go ahead, Dion. You can use him. My mother's gonna use him, right? So you're not allowed to be a pastor. Because if you do, you're gonna get hit, and then the next thing you know, it's gonna be a snake, right? If it's not the belt, it's the snake. That's what comes with being a playboy and a sex toy. All right? Be our playboy and sex toy, or it's a hit. Huh, American government? Playboy and sex toy, no, not the gospel according to Jesus. Not the gospel message of this life. It's the penis, huh? It's the penis, it's Gabriel wanting sex all day. Playboy and sex toy. What about Jesus in the gospel? Pinch him in his ass, right, officer? Right? You can do it in the spirit. Pinch him in his ass as you walk by. Right? Pussy, and no, pussy I know, see homo. A safe sex. If you don't know how to read. It's not a sexual come on. It's a hit. I'm from this side. And Mr. Franklin, you and your wives, however many of them you have, I'll be on this side when you start, when you make the decision to repent of your sins and stop sinning. When you make the decision to put God before your cock. Huh? When you make the decision to put Christ before your cock. Christ is first before your cock. This is, this is what your cock is giving me. This position here, and I don't want it in your family or outside of your family. And Dr. MacArthur, I'm not exactly sure what it is about the gospel that you no longer accept or receive. But, you know, that's kind of a cheap shot for a man well known as you to take a check that was not written in your name and for you to cash the check through the postmaster and then divide it into five portions. If the check was written in my name, shouldn't I get all $513.27? When have I or my family ever touched your money? or your vagina, or your penis, or your ass, that I should owe you $293, either more or less. I'm not your prostitute, Dr. Matt. I didn't come to your school to be your prostitute or your playboy either. So the message that I give to the Franklins, I give to Grace also. You need to figure out who, which side are you on. Are you on the playboy side? Are you on the sex toy side with the serpent who's constantly beating us to submit? 
Are you with God in his gospel? I'm with God in his gospel. I don't need this. I, I don't need this. This is going to stop me from becoming the man of God that I wanted to be. This is going to put sickness and diseases in my body. This is what's going to bring AIDS out of, out of these women. And who knows what other sinful and wicked acts of judgment that are going to come as a result of this. I don't need this. I don't need it. I don't need you cutting my Bible. I don't need you cutting the bag that my Bible comes in. I don't need you threatening me with snakes because I will not cooperate with your sinful life. Your sinful life as a government, your sinful life as a gay community, your sinful life as a false church, your sinful life as false authorities and false leaders. What's the purpose of giving you are you as a government in your offices, your high offices, where you get two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars a year, but yet you can't even remove an elderly woman from a sick, perverted position? You see, the killing and the immorality goes together on one side. Really, it's on the left side, right? The killing and the immorality and the serpent goes on the left side. The scriptures and the gospel message of this life goes to the right, according to Matthew 25. This is the division here. This is what you are giving me as a government, right? The snake, the sex toy, the playboy. You're giving it to me because you're protecting those people. The death threats, right? This is what you're giving to me. We're no longer in New York State. I'm no longer in America, a, a, a group home kid. So now it's time to come out, right? And what you're giving me as an American under your constitution and your naturalization certificate is this. What God handed me was this gospel right here. This is what's giving me hope. That one day you will what? Believe. One day you will repent. One day you will stop sinning. And one day you will be reconciled to your creator. Because American, so help me Jesus, if you do not, you will spend an eternity of long suffering. A, a suffering that you do not know exists that is taking place even right now. And I'm not talking about your obituary. I'm talking about your soul being in hell where you're outside of that beautiful pink body. Those beautiful pink eyes, uh, 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 that skin, the hair, all that beauty gone. And you will suffer the consequences of what you are doing here. What you are judging others to do and to become. Judging them to become killers. Right? You sell them guns, don't you? You're putting the gun in their hands, right? Don't you have a gun? What, what is the gun law right there across the street at the Bill Clinton building, the federal building? Outside of the federal building, you've got gun laws. But yet, your stores are selling them to civilians. Children, 18, 19 year old, that are going into elementary schools to kill babies. This is what you are giving to us as a people. Right? The, the, the gun store, the sex store. If you're giving us the sex, the toys, and you're giving us the killing toys, you're giving us the position. And of course, we can go in there and buy our own snakes so we can carry out the acts of judgment of judging our, our enemies. Okay? I think I've said more than enough. What is it that I want you to do? I want you to switch sides. I want you to join me in suffering for the gospel if it needs be. I want you to stop killing on every single one of these levels, beginning with the abortionist who's murdering children. You wrote the law and says they're not allowed to kill anymore. You shouldn't have given them 50 years. You gave them 50 years to kill infants. You shouldn't have given them 50 years. And now today they are angry, as angry as they were when George Floyd died, angry and pissed off at the fact that you took away their, their rights to kill, my body, my choice, right? It wasn't okay for the police to kill George Floyd, but it's okay for them to kill the babies. Right, abortionist clinics, right? Right, abortionist doctors, if you're in the neighborhood, thou shalt not kill, right? Neither the fetus nor the mother. So if you're on this side doing the killing, Right? Like, like that machine right there around your waist that kills people? Right? That machine that kills people, kills innocent people? Every single day all over America, innocent people are being killed by that machine around your waist? You just sent a killer out! That was one of your killers! 
One of the people that are going to murder, at some point he has to use that gun to kill somebody. I hope it's not me, for God's sakes. That's one of your killers, right? And your killers have guns. They don't have Bible verses. They have guns. And then your sex offenders, what do they have? Syringes, sleeping gas, right? Sleeping gas to make sure their victim is asleep. Their victims who won't cooperate with them, right? You know the drill. Switch sides. Repent and believe. Stop sinning. Stop catering to Lucifer. Stop giving glory to a snake. You are not created in the image of a serpent. You are created in the image of Almighty God. Stop submitting to evil. Repent and believe what God is saying to you. Switch side and embrace the gospel message of this life. Switch sides and do what God says. Right? It's like a recipe. But the only way the recipe will work is if you have faith. Right? If you don't have faith, it's not going to work. You can throw the Bible in the back of your, your, police, your, your police car and still go out and kill people. It won't make a difference. I can't walk away without offering you that opportunity to be saved. You know? If Guy Franklin is still using the belt, he's still using the, he's still using the snake. If Guy Franklin is still using the belt, in situations where he feels that he's, his life is under threat, he's probably still using the snake. And I'm not exactly sure if John Marie was snake or Tony Gaston was snake, and if that's what killed their lives. But what I do know is that I don't want that man nor his woman near me. You understand? I don't want this Guy Franklin and the women, the Haitian women, Jamaican women, and if there are white women involved, I don't want that family near me because they're of the devil, okay? I don't want no relations, no association with these people because they're wicked and they will not stop their wickedness. So if Guy Franklin and his mother or his wives came here to fetch me, I'm not going, okay? I'm not interested. I'm not interested in their relationship and they're offering me black vagina. I don't want your black vagina, Guy. Whether it's attached to your body or it's your mother's or it's your, your wives, your daughters, your Haitian women, I don't want it. Not even a white woman who wears black. I don't want it. I don't want nothing out of you because you did not switch sides like I've asked you to since I was 10 years old. You asked me if I was a homo and I told you no and I asked you to come to church. Come over to the church. As a child, I invited you to the church. As a man, I invite you to be the church. Same goes for you too, Dr. Mac. Instead of stealing people's information, why don't you type it out, write it out, right? So instead of taking people's information in exchange for, for that, stop giving people that. My God shall supply all my needs and riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I don't need you to provide that for me, right? I don't need it. I've got the word of God. Jesus says I have food that you do not know of. Right? This, this, this here, right? Like, 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 uh, like newborn babes long for the pure milk of the word so that by it you may grow in respect to salvation. Long for the pure milk of the word. Long for your soul to be fed. Instead of your, ge your, your, your genital to be fed, right? Long for your, for, for, for your heart to be fed with his word. In other words, prepare your soul and your spirit. You're always feeding your flesh, but you're not feeding your soul and your spirit. You need to feed your soul and your spirit. You spend every single day, 365 days of the year, for 24 years in the background, how much of that time do you spend on your knees or reading the Word of God, John? How much of that time do you spend reading the Word of God? You and this Franklin family. You spend more time barking out orders to judge and to, and to hiss like a snake than you do with turning to the Word of God. Repent. Stop sinning however long it takes for God to try to convince you because he's a long-suffering God and you've got some long-suffering pain coming your way. Eternal pain that will never cease because you did not take God at his word and you did not switch sides. Stop sinning. Switch sides. Come over to the gospel side. Don't stab people in the back. Stop threatening people's life. Switch sides. You're not going to live in that white body forever. Your friends are, are, are on the mural where? At the, at, the, at, the, at the park. 
You, do you know how many people are going to be there drinking and drugging and screwing this coming week, 4th of July? Do you know how many of these people are going to force th do this right here? All that drinking, all of the sex boys that are going to be there and sex girls, play girls and play boys and kill sex boys and sex girls and kill sex and they're going to get drunk and they're going to dance and then they're going to be doing this and sex and, and drugs and and dancing and sexing and dancing and more sex and more drugs and more killing. Why? We're celebrating 4th of July. No different than when Moses went up to the mountain and they decided to offer an idol and do all that dancing and who knows what else they did. We're no different than the generations of Noah, people. We're no different than the generation of wickedness that has been passed. But the Lord of Sabbath, right? The Lord of Sabbath is calling you. The God of creation is saying, stop and think about your own soul salvation. It's not about your neighbor. It's not about your friend. It's about you. You're not gonna live in that body forever. You're not gonna be somebody's sex toy and sex boy. And all the sex toys and sex boys are not gonna be useful to you. There are people at OHSU connected to tubes who can't use sex toys and sex boys anymore because they have been judged with COVID. They have been judged with AIDS. They have been judged with cancer. They spent all of their lifetimes, right? Playing with sex toys and sex boys. Leave those boys alone. Leave those toys alone, okay? Leave the toys and leave the boys. Remember, God is giving you an album here. This is where it's going. And I always like to remind because the wages of sin is death, okay? This, this is where it goes, see? Week after week, if I was to collect this during the course of the year, every single time the paper comes out, my God, I'd have a big, huge memorial book here, right? This is, this is where it goes, all right? Every single one of these people was on one of those levels at some point in their lives. But now, no more, right? No more sex toys, no more sex boys, no more playboys, none of that. Here, take your position among the dead. Time is up. Now, whether or not they made that decision for Christ, I'll never know. You know, whether or not they switch sides, I'll never know. When will you, when, when, how much time before it's your turn? How much time before it's your turn? Before God takes away the sex toys and playboys, before God takes away the killing machine and the $513 or the $2,000 that you're extracting from others, the money that you're embezzling and stealing, if he, the pastor, is stealing 513, how much you, the government, is stealing? Huh? How much did you take away from the natives and the Africans? And you don't think you're gonna pay for that? Hmm. Today could be a day of your salvation if you believe, you know? Today could be your day where you repent. I think you know what to do. You know how to arrest a man. You know how to be reconciled to God. Go to your heavenly father and say, Father, forgive me for my sin. Drop the chip from your shoulder. I repent. Now, when I say this, do not come tonight where I'm sleeping. Do not come back again to pierce me and to have sex with my body and to treat it like it's a toy and like I'm a boy. Am I talking to you like a boy? Am I exposing myself to you so you can play with and see my toy? No, I'm talking to you as adults, okay? We have an understanding here. I'm not cursing you out. I'm simply asking you to stop being so proud and put away your pride and accept what your God has to say. If you don't like the way I say it, put on the Billy Graham uh, 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 sermons, you know, the Crusades. He'll tell you the same thing, you know? But he'll say it in the American way. Right? I'm the Haitian saying it this way. If you put on Graham or Louis Palau right here from Portland, Oregon, they'll tell you the same, give you the same message, right? Just using their own words, you know, for those who are Hispanic and for those who are white American. And you blacks, you can go to T.D. Jakes. He'll give you the same message, you know? Go to your, go to your pastor of your race. If you're Asians, you can go to Young Cho. They've got videos of him up there. So if you don't want to hear it from me, you can go to them the ones that you put on television and on the radio, the ones that you trust and you will buy their books in bookstores. Father, I pray at this hour
for the American government and the American people, for the police department, and for these people to repent, and for the people, for their eyes to be open if they are blind. If their spirit is not receptive, I pray that the Holy Spirit would bring them to conviction and to stop sinning and to stop persecuting my body and to stop piercing my body and to stop whipping my body and to stop turning my body into an object of immorality, a sex toy, right, for a playboy. I pray, God, that they will allow us to do your work of ministry and only your work of ministry without stumbling. In Jesus' name, amen.